G'day guys, welcome to round 2 of the Immortal War 2v2 Open Tournament and we're here to see Catch My N versus Lobo and Lobo. Catch My N, definitely the favourites of this tournament in my opinion proving time and time again in practices that they are the team to beat and Lobo and Lobo just coming out of their victory we put it on the pizza and round 1 Catch My N did get a buy because of their seed as we have uh, Shota as I was just playing as USA with the Elite Master Scott opening up Straight down to the western point, gonna actually maybe even get there before the opponent does because of the speed of the stamina. And I think potentially Jadus didn't send his guys straight away as one range is already out in the open. But a ball of uh, a ball cable ball has blocking some of the shots of the rangers. But uh, nevertheless, the agent does not open up with a grenade. Maybe a few more coming from the side, perhaps. Let's see, these rangers can hold strong. Uh, so Jutska, he's gone the Soviets. And looks like he is capping the eastern point and also pushing up to the spawn of the enemy. See the rangers going, trying to find avenues of attack using the warehouse as well for J-Dudes. Or center, we can see J-Dudes has captured that, using the, sending the majority of his forces with uh, MG from Buba, consolidating that, but in the expense of the flanks, as you can see now, Jutska pushing up, flanking around the building, going to grenade Buba on the side. So boob has gone uh, Germany and Japan for J-Dudes. Definitely uh, playing to his strengths, I guess. He used to study in Japan. <laughs> so I think he, he likes to go to the Japanese nation. And what the interesting flank from the center going to the left. Shutter has a few guys also. Gonna spot him so he won't get flanked. MG in a decent position, forward position in fact. <laughs> it's uh, surrounded actually. Uh, it's still holding strong on that point. That's a really interesting move there from Shutter. Very, very uh, aggressive. A little bit risky, but definitely paid off. And look at Jutska go. He's uh, infested the area. Eastern point totally capped. Just the centers hold held by Jadis. And he's going to get flanked from, the, uh, from this side. And Shutter is uh, not coming in from his side. He's going to face up a Type 92 with no sort of uh, anti tank weaponry or anti-vehicle weaponry, especially as USA, they don't have sort of, uh, any AT rifles. Forced to duck away into the warehouse building. Type 92 is hunting more infantry and he's not going to get anything. So I think Shutter's waiting for the right time. Whoa! Did you see that timing? That wasn't an AI throw, it was a DC throw. He was following the path of the Type 92 and he threw it at the exact right time. That's brilliant from Shutter. Uh, yeah, superior timing right there. Definitely known for his uh, his speed, but uh, he's really uh, yeah great great with timers, timings and uh, buys. In fact, as well, he's actually the way we won the last two video tournament with uh, Konos and Lucky as Wild Hunt. Now supplemented by <coughs> substituted by Jutska, a very formidable team with unbelievable pressure and infantry. Do you see that? Just infantry, just going everywhere. Totally outclassed Lobo and Lobo who was so good up against put it on the pizza but you can see uh, just changing up changing up who you play for a, a bit really uh, makes a toddler <clears throat> sorry makes a yeah makes it look like a toddler <laughs> and the other ma match looked like Superman Sam River at the sport is totally given up and wow they've been pushed off the entire map a five cap already almost no we were coming in to stop the five cap Reinforcement shot off from the Shock Inventory, let's see how it does. Flamer in tow, gonna do quite well in fact. Shock Inventory in front, the SMG guy is gonna divert the fire away perhaps and get the Flamer, so the Flamer can get the shot off. Just as coming in, look at the fire shooting capabilities of Jutska, shooting up into the air. Oh, look at that. Yeah, known for his fire shooting, uh, to much dislike in the community. As uh, you can see, he's been taken out fairly quickly. Hit points of flamethrowers have been lessened, and also for the shock infantry, uh, flamethrower body armor has been removed as well. So, not as good. Even used in fire shot grenade from Booba will take out a few, perhaps. Oh, nice one. Oh, actually, doesn't do much damage at all. Knocks out one. Uh, picked up flamethrower from Jutsuka. It doesn't really matter if the flamethrower guy has less hit points. Oh, it, yeah, it really doesn't matter because he just flamed himself. It's funny how the animation when they're flaming, they just walk casually. There's not flapping his arms around or rolling on the floor. So, 
Wow, total wipe level and level looked so strong versus put it on the pizza, but uh catch my end. Uh just totally punished them with the inventory marker and flanking. Boober holding on to his spawn flag. T60 out from Jutska. What can the other team afford? Very close to spawn, so I guess a looks can be afforded or even a Panzer 3. Perhaps even a Chi Chihi or Chiha to get that uh, unit. <coughs> Excuse me. Take out that unit. Uh, 20, 20 millimeter Type 2 from J Dudes. Sitting on the hill now, um, aiming towards the western point. As uh, Shata is still holding his point. Okay. Here's the T60 doing some work. Shock infantry. Here it comes Jutsuko again. Just the spam of that infantry. Let's see. Ooh, here, there's the P3. Should be an easy put away. It's tracked it and it's taken out the T60. But that's the strategy so far, it seems. They excel in allied gameplay. Just using infantry. Only spamming the special points non-stop. Shock infantry, shock infantry, charge. And as USA, Stuart from uh, Shota, Rangers, and more Rangers, plus a few regulars, I guess. I don't know what, uh, this is 30 cal as well. I guess the Marines, perhaps. There's so much infantry firepower at once. It makes it hard for the axe to stop, especially if you don't outskill, but nice 80 grenade from Jutska. Taken out that Panzer J. Yeah, especially <clears throat> if you don't outskill the opponent in infantry. Claim versus allies is very hard to stop the amount of infantry you have, have to face up against if the enemy is spamming those special points. You need to outskill them, out defend them, and outlast them as the Axis so you can get the better units and tanks. See that's U37 from Jutska. Yeah, should be good to finish this off. To the side. Nice. Seven minutes in. <coughs> and the five cap has definitely been secured. Now hopefully I do better in the next game because there's no coming back from this one I don't think. Uh, Stuart has been taken out though, must have been from the bazooka. Or was that that AT infantry? One special point AT infantry from J Dudes. Well done, has taken out that Stuart. Not looking too good yet. Yeah, ZSI 2, sorry ZSIU 337 is still strong. Bazooka, what the hell was that? Shotter just shot a bazooka and took out the entire paratrooper squad. Look at the top left. Jeez, it's one paratrooper. Nine kills. <laughs> More than a paratrooper squad. That micro. Direct control. Definitely not looking forward to playing these guys. They are in the top of the bracket. Of the upper bracket, which will meet us eventually if we do get through as well. Going to be a fight of the century, I think. Potentially, uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't back myself, especially because I'm definitely not on the form. And watching this right now is making me shiver in my boots. Puba coming in with some paratroopers, Fulcher Jaegers, three special pointers. There's uh, M19 from Jutska. Sorry, from Shota. Jeez. Just all the auto cannons playing the town, I guess, to the advantage. Just going all these auto cannon vehicles that can go 50 50s, and there you go. Wow, nine minutes knockout, not even a rage quit, just full game finished 100 to 0, nine minutes. I'd say the quickest 2v2 I've ever seen in a tournament. Good game.